Their stories are a part of history, and one local man is keeping track of all of them. As News Channel 5 Sina Sleem learned, his mission is also a tribute to their service. I mean, it could be a great uncle or... Jeff Milstead is full of stories. He was a Jeep driver for an officer. In the, this was in the Battle of the Bulge. As we walk through Evergreen Cemetery in Murfreesboro, he tells me the story of John Hand. John Hand was with the 707th Tank Battalion. He was from Tomball, Texas, and married a local young lady that he met here in Murfreesboro. And of Robert Thomas. Mr. Robert Howard Thomas, he was in the 612th Tank Destroyer Battalion, and he died on December 17th of 1944. But these aren't his stories. They're the stories of the tombstones he cleans. When I saw the men, I wanted to learn something about them. A connection beginning three years ago after Milstead cleaned the tombstone of his uncle, who was also a veteran. After that, I wanted to find more. Since then, he hasn't stopped. A fire inside him ignited after realizing many of these service members buried no longer had living relatives. And I realized that they're alone. There's no one to come see them on their birthday. There's no one to come see them to bring them a wreath at Christmas. All of these men died horrifically young. Milstead spends hours after work finding World War II veterans buried in Tennessee and tries to clean as many tombstones as he can. A process he says can take up to six weeks for just one tombstone. Now they're my boys. And I will take care of them as long as I am physically able. A labor Milstead doesn't mind doing to say thank you to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Cena Sleem, News Channel 5. Thanks, Cena. Milstead and his wife also put together wreaths to lay at veterans' tombstones every year.